Oh my god. We just got off of El Toro. As you crest the top of El Toro's lift hill, you immediately go into a 180 degree turnaround that is taken at a very low speed. But then after that, you dive down your 176 foot, 76 degree drop and reach your max speed of 70 miles per hour. After bottoming out and rising up, you then fly into two back to back large airtime hills. These provide some insane ejector airtime that is totally sustained. After getting all that amazing airtime, you rise into the farthest point of the ride, a turnaround. This turnaround is pretty lackluster. Luster. It's fun, but doesn't pull any crazy forces. You then rise up into another large hill. This is the middle section of the ride that is kind of a dud. Doesn't really do much, and you don't get much airtime. But then here comes my favorite part of the ride, the rolling thunder hill. This crazy ejector airtime moment is so powerful, I don't even care that it's not very sustained. The strength of it alone makes it by far my favorite part of the ride, and I'm not sure that it would be safe if it was any more sustained than it is now. After going through the madness that was the rolling thunder, hill, you go through a few low to the ground snappy turns before you rise up into one hill with soft floater airtime and then go into one final bump that sends you into a hill right into the brakes. El Toro is an Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster that opened at Six Flags Great Adventure in 2006. This coaster absolutely dominates the Plaza del Carnaval section of the park with its absolutely absurd height of 181 feet. Just like literally every other coaster review on this channel, we are going to be starting with the presentation category. As stated previously, this coaster is located in the Plaza del Carnaval section of Six Flags Great Adventure. The area itself is pretty well themed with a few Spanish buildings here and there. The area also features a few Spanish looking plants, I guess. I'm not really sure, but the area as a whole still looks pretty nice. Six Flags also gave this roller coaster a nice entrance sign to greet guests as they enter the really long queue line. However, the area as a whole is pretty much where the theming for El Toro stops, at least until you get to the station. The queue line is pretty much one massive cattle pen, with a few drapes covered here and there so you don't get sunburned and pass out or or die. I am obviously kidding about that last part, but the queue line does actually have a few things going in its favor. It is located directly next to the first drop and first two airtime hills. You can get a few really cool views of that. However, you cannot get any video because you have to place your phone in a locker, even if you have cargo shorts. Anyways, despite there being no theming in the queue line, the station is kinda cool. It resembles some sort of Mexican building, and it even is reused from their old Viper roller coaster, and I guess that makes it sort of historical. Anyways, I will be giving El Toro a 7.5 for presentation. Now let's move on to the ride experience. You board into one of El Toro's two 36 passenger trains, fasten your seatbelt, and pull down your rather bulky lap bar. The trains are roomy and spacious, and the seats are pretty well padded and comfortable. However, the restraints are pretty bulky. It doesn't restrict you from getting airtime, however, it does kind of hinder it. Moving away from the trains, but keeping with the ride experience, I'm going to answer a question that many people ask. Is El Toro rough? And just a heads up, I only rode El Toro once in the very back row in July of 2019, so your experience could be completely different. And to answer that question, no. I'm saying no. Even when sitting in the very back row, I did not find El Toro rough. The track did not have any jolts or anything like that, and I did not experience any jackhammering. The ride is paced very well and only loses steam at the very end of the ride, and that is to be expected with most roller coasters. And even with the middle of the ride not being very impressive, it's still pretty fun, and it's not like it doesn't do anything at all. It still has a small speed hill that provides mild floater airtime. If you couldn't have guessed, El Toro will be receiving a really high score for this category. However, it won't be a perfect 10 out of 10. El Toro will be receiving a 9.5 out of 10, mainly due to the bulky restraints in the middle of the ride being pretty mad. Now it's time for the length category, another thing that plenty of people like to complain about when talking about Toro. Admittedly, El Toro doesn't feel as long as Voyage or Beast, however, it does not feel like a short ride either. When you hit the brakes on El Toro, you feel extremely satisfied. A, because the ride experience is amazing, but also because the length isn't shabby either. For length, El Toro will be receiving a 7 out of 10. It is not the longest ride in the world, however, it is definitely not a short experience either. And now that we're done with the categories, I just want to go over my overall thoughts on El Toro before I give a final score. I love this coaster to death, and it ranks comfortably inside of my top 5. Even though this beast isn't my favorite wooden roller coaster, it certainly is up there, and getting rerides on this thing are on the top of my priority list 
list for 2021. This coaster was built to provide some insane ejector airtime, and it does just that. One of my top priorities for a roller coaster is that it does what it was designed to, and El Toro fits that build perfectly. So without further ado, what do I give El Toro as a final score? You probably guessed it, but it is a 10 out of 10. Be sure to let me know what you think of this world-class Intamin prefabricated wooden roller coaster in the comments down below. And also don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I post new videos just like this a couple days a week, and if you enjoyed this video, I'm sure you'll enjoy all of my others. Anyways, I'll see you next time on Hang Time Thrills.